friends, Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade. Today I'm going to show you some activity centers that are geared for literacy or math, and they are for um, preschool, kindergarten, or maybe even uh, first grade students. So the first activity center I have here is literacy, and it is um, called Short Vowel Turkey. And there are some turkeys here that have different short vowel um, word families on them. So this one has the at word family on it. This one has the ot family. This is the n family, the un family, and the ig family. So different short vowels. Um, so I have one for a, e, i, o, and u. And what the kiddos are going to do is they will have to find the um, feathers that match the short vowel um, that they're uh, turkey that they're working on. So this is a cat. This picture of a cat it gives the child the picture and it gives them the beginning sound. They have to match it up um, with the turkey. So this one would match up with the at turkey. And then um, they would kind of look through and find the other ones that match up with the at family. They could do it like this where they do one turkey at a time and then match them up. Or you could give them two turkeys at a time and then um, have them match up two or even lay out all five turkeys and have them match up all of the feathers. But, um, so this is what this activity is. So they would just keep on going until they have made their entire turkey. So here's cat and bat and there's more um, at family words in here um, that they could go ahead and match up. You could separate these beforehand so it's easier for the kiddos that might need a little bit more help with um, with this activity or, um, or just lay them out um, the way they are for, uh, you know, here's Matt. So here we have, let's see, cat, bat, hat, sat, mat. And I think there's one more in here. So you get the idea. Let me show you another activity. Okay, this next activity center is called Number Cover. And what the kiddos are going to do is they're going to take um, one of these number cards. There's numbers here all the way through 10, so 1 through 10. And what they have to do is they take a number card and um, they have to find the pictures on this side that match the number. So this is five. So they're going to look at the um, pumpkins here, one, two, three, four, five. Since it does match up, they're going to use any kind of manipulative you want to cover up their answer. Here um, I have over here just some, um, these are foam stickers. And so they're great to use for manipulatives when you're doing um, something that is themed. So I have um, Thanksgiving themed foam stickers. So they would go ahead and cover up that one because that one has five. This one has one, two, three, four, five as well. So they could cover up that one. This um, one has one, two, three, so they would not cover up the turkey here. And then this one here has five acorns, so they would cover up that picture. Um, so they would be done with this one, and they could pull another card and then do the next one. Um, so yes, these foam stickers are a really great idea to use. Um, another idea I have here, um, these are just some little manipulatives. These are uh, little foam beads. And so we've been using these. Um, some of them are foam, um, and then some of them are like hard beads. This one is a hard bead. Um, so yeah, these are just another option that you could use as well. Okay, this next activity is called Read and Sort. And um, it comes with these picture cards. It has letters, it has words, and it has sentences. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, um, I, well, what I did is I took the cards and I put them on these craft sticks. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the letters first, and I'm gonna stick it in the Play-Doh, and um, I will scoot back a little bit so I can show you, whoops, this way, so I can show you kind of, there you go, how it, how it is, so it sticks up, and then um, I'm gonna do sentence, no, sentences will be last, so I'm gonna do words and then sentences. So it's going to look like this. Okay, so now you can see it would be letters, words, and sentences. So you can do it this way, or you could use these in a pocket chart, and then you wouldn't need the sticks and the Play-Doh. But um, I, like to, I like to do it this way. And um, so I have letters, words, and sentences. And then the kiddos are going to have these cards here, and they're going to sort them. So they're just going to put them by the correct um, one. So you can see here I'm sorting 
and I'm putting words by the one that says words. And if it's a letter, I'm putting it by the letters. And if it is um, a sentence, I put it by the sentence. And so they just continue sorting until all of their cards are completely sorted. Okay, this next activity is called Missing Sounds. And it has these cards, and um, these cards are ha missing the beginning sound of each of these words. These are all short vowel words, and you can see it has the little pilgrims here just to make it um, part of our theme. And what the kids are going to do is they're going to either use, you can use a dry erase marker, or you can use magnetic letters that I have here to fill in the um, missing letters. So for this one, this would be a hen. So they could just go ahead and use their magnetic letter here, as you see, I put it on there to um, cover it up. These are great to use on a cookie sheet because the magnets will stick through. Um, so that's an option. Another option is to use a dry erase marker as long as they're laminated. And um, then the kids, so this would be pan, so the kids could just write the letter that is missing in the um, spot there like that. So either way, um, dry erase or magnetic letters to fill in um, the missing letters and all of these fun activity cards. Okay, this next activity center is called Measure It. And it comes with these measuring cards and they all have um, either just little um, food objects that you would see at Thanksgiving or um, like this one has the kids eating. Um, so what you would do is the kids would take a card and they're gonna measure from one line to the other line and they're going to need to use some snap cubes. These are also called unifix cubes. And so you're gonna need snap cubes for this activity and then they would just measure how many um, snap cubes long each of these objects is. So this one here is, the pie is four long. Um, so they're, they're different lengths when they're measuring and they're just gonna measure how many lengths long, how many, how many cubes long each picture is. All right, the next activity center is called Thanks Give a Bet. And it is practicing beginning sounds with the alphabet. There is a card here for every letter of the alphabet. The children are going to do is they're going to take one card and they're going to use a manipulative to cover up the pictures on the card that begin with that letter. So A says ass, so they're going to cover up apple and they're going to cover up axe on this card. Um, they would not cover up dog. So then, for example, here's the B card. This one has elephant, a button, or a baby. So on this card, they would go ahead and they would cover up the button and the baby, obviously using any manipulatives that you have. This next activity is um, a math graphing activity, and this one is called Thanks Graphing instead of Thanksgiving. And um, it comes with a graph mat like this, and then, then it also comes with these um, picture strips. And so what the kids are gonna do is they're gonna take a strip like the one you see here, and they're going to graph it. So they're gonna count for example, the first picture, this turkey has one, two, three, four, five, six feathers. So they're gonna take any kind of manipulative, I'm gonna use these, and they're going to count out six manipulatives for the um, turkey. And then, um, I'm trying to find these pumpkins. And then what they're gonna do for the next one is they'll look back at their strip, and you can see that the little um, pilgrim girl has one pumpkin or one um, piece of pie and so um, they would put one for her and then the, the pilgrim boy has one two three four five of the um, corn pieces so I'm actually going to grab some corn pieces and try to fill in five corn pieces if I can find them all and then the last um, let's see three four five and then the last little guy here has three so I'm just gonna grab let's see three leaves one whoops that one fell two three okay so then when their graph it. is finished thanks Mom. It, Mom. thanks um, when their graph is finished what they can do is you can ask them all sorts of questions like which one has the most which one has the least how many more does the um, turkey have than the pilgrim girl how many more does the um, or how many less does 
uh, the pilgrim boy have then the turkey um, all those kind of great questions and then when they're done with that graph they can just grab another one and they could do make another graph so there's a whole um, bunch of these and so it can make all sorts of different looking graphs depending on um, after they've counted the different objects and placed them on their graph all right this next activity is um, a vowel sound and write so you can see it has the vowels on this. This is the mat, and it has all the vowels, and then um, it has these picture cards, and the kids are going to grab a picture card, and they have to decide what the beginning sound is. So this, is, these are eggs, so the beginning sound is E, so they're going to go ahead and take a dry erase marker, this is my dry erase, and they're going to trace the E or one of the E's on their mat. There's two for each vowel. Then they'll flip that card and go to the next one. This is an umbrella. And so I'm going to go ahead and trace, um, find a U on my card and I'm gonna, whoop, I'm gonna trace my U. I'm doing it real quick. Um, and then, you know, you get the idea. So we have an ostrich here and so I'm gonna find an O and I'm gonna trace. And they're just gonna continue tracing until they have traced all of the vowels on their mat. So they're not only practicing beginning phonics sounds, they're also practicing some handwriting and it's just kind of a lot of fun and they're gonna keep going until all of them are traced. Okay, this next activity center is practicing things that are like and unlike. It's called um, same and different, and same or different. And so um, it has these little strips. Some of the strips they have to find the two pictures that are exactly the same, and then some of them they have to discriminate um, between which ones are like and different. So for this first one, um, they have to find the two pictures that are exactly the same and then cover them up. So I'm going to use um, my little. Um, foam stickers here and um, cover up the two that are exactly alike. So I'm gonna cover up this pumpkin and I'm gonna go ahead and cover up this pumpkin because those two are exactly alike. And then they could go on to the next card. So on this card, the two that are exactly alike are um, this guy and this guy. So I can cover them up and go on. Now some of the cards are um, where they have to find the one that is different. So um, for example, on this corn card, I see that these three are the same. This one is different. So I will go ahead and cover up that picture and you get the idea. Same with this one. Those three corn stalks are the same. This one is different. So I'd cover up that one. So it's just discrimination between alike and um, differences. Okay, this activity center is really cute. This is dress the short vowel turkey. So I have a turkey for each of the short vowels. This is short vowel A and this is short vowel E this is short vowel I, this is short vowel O, and this is short vowel U. And what the kids are going to do is they have to dress the turkey. So I have some um, clothing here, and all the clothing pieces have different short vowel words. And so for this guy, this is, um, actually I would probably maybe give them two at a time. Okay, so this is short vowel A and short vowel E, and then they're going to read the little picture um, words on the pictures, and they're going to put them on the correct um, turkey. So that's a short vowel E word and this is a short vowel E word and so um, they would go on this turkey. Here's short vowel E. So just kind of dressing up their turkeys by reading the words and finding the ones that have the, the correct short vowel to match up with their turkey. So um, turkey A has map, fan, and cat and then turkey E has fed, hen, and net. And then obviously I have the pictures here like it would be for turkey eye um, and so on. Mom. All right, this one is a flip count and cover. And um, it comes with this mat and then these cards. These are um, turkey feather turkeys with feathers. And then you flip the cards over and then the kids are going to flip over a card and count the feathers. So this, feather, this card has one, two, three, four feathers. And so they're going to cover up the number four on their mat. And so um, obviously use any kind of manipulative you want and then they cover it up. Um, they would continue on, they would take the next card, flip it over, count, cover that number up and they continue until their entire mat is covered. Okay, this is the very last activity. This is called One More, One Less. So you're going to get a spinner that looks like this and um, 
you can use a paper clip and a pencil to do your spinner or you can do like I did I got these little spinners from Amazon in a little pack they were only a few bucks and they can come on and off and so uh, we've been using these with our different um, activity centers um, because I just feel like they're um, they're easier for the little kids to use than trying to hold their pencil and the paper clip but it still does work that way um, but what you're gonna do is so you're gonna get a spinner um, page like this and then um, they're going to spin the spinner and whatever it lands on they're gonna count the number so this one landed on here and it was the number two so then they're gonna have a mat you could either do the one less mat or the one more mat. I'm gonna start with the one more. So I rolled a two. So the kids are gonna look at the mat and they're gonna cover up the number that's one more than two. So obviously three is one more than two, so they would cover it up. Now I put a number line on the mat as well. So if you're working with really little kids like my three-year-old, he can find the number two and then he can move one more to see that three is one more than two. And then he would cover up the three that way. Um, so anyways, they would continue on. They would spin again until all of their numbers are covered continuing to cover one more you could also do the back of this one um, well I put it on the back you don't have to put it on the back um, but uh, it also comes with cover one less so they could go ahead and spin a you know spin and then whatever it lands on they're going to cover one less so this one landed on uh, eight and so one less than eight is seven and I would continue spinning until I have covered up all the numbers that are one less um, again, using my number line if I needed to. So if I spun an eight, one less than eight would be seven. So um, that is the very last one, guys. If you are interested in these activity centers, I will leave a link below to my store where you can get them. Um, they all also come in black and white. So if you don't have a color printer and you need to be able to have things in black and white, it is all also um, included in black and white. I also include all of the... Um, uh, labels here so you can print them on label Yay. paper and stick them on your bag so you have a label for each of the activity centers um, and then also you can get them two different ways you can just purchase the Thanksgiving centers or um, I have a bundle of all of my um, seasonal centers so it comes with I have fall or fall centers and Thanksgiving centers in it right now and then coming soon will be Christmas and then um, Easter and all the other um, holidays uh, that are coming up so um, uh, some winter ones that are, I'm going to be doing as well after the Christmas ones and so if you want to get the bundle I'll leave a link for that below as well and if you purchase the bundle you actually save because you'll get all the centers that are coming later um, for free so, okay, um, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.